There are chess lovers. Ukrainian chess prodigy, nine-year-old Tikhon Chernyaev, recently broke 2700 bullet rating mark on leeches.org. And today I want to share with you one of his bullet games played online. In this game, his opponent is a pretty strong player, playing under nickname VBatman2004, his rating is 2542, and at the time of this game, Tihon's rating was 2664. Chernyev was playing with the white pieces opened up with e4, and Black responded with Sicilian defense. As this was a bullet game, we will go quickly through the game. Just let's cover the game and see how Tihon managed to beat his opponent. We have the open Sicilian where instead of knight takes d4, which is the main continuation, white is capturing on d4 with the queen. This is Chekhover variation, knight c6, queen e3. Another popular alternative is bishop b5. This is the main move, but in our game we have bishop e3, knight f6, h3, preventing any knight g4 jumps, e6, b3. White is going to Fienke to his queenside bishop, bishop e7, bishop b2, black castles c4, we have a Marozzi bind, which is not really good, you know, in here, because by going for d5, black could free his position and create some problems for white. But in our game after c4, we have bishop d7, knight c3, rook c8, bishop e2, a6, white castles, kingside. Yes, black played passively, didn't use his chance, didn't go for that d5 move, and... Now white is doing just great. Rook d1, knight d5, rook c1, knight takes f3, bishop takes f3, bishop c6, knight a4. Well, white wants to play knight b6, but this is not good because no one will allow the knight to jump on b6. This steps into bishop a4. Instead, it was better to play a move like knight d5. If he takes d5, then Pawn takes d5, but in our game we have knight a4 and black captured the knight. B takes a4, queen a5, queen b3, we have a target on b7, rook c7, bishop c3, queen c5, bishop b4, and a mistake by black, queen b6, which is allowing white to win a pawn. Instead it was better to put the queen on g5 and keep an eye on this rook on c1. In this case, white can't win a pawn because in the end of the day we'll lose his rook. But in our game we have queen b6 and without meeting any obstacles, white simply munched that pawn. Here all black could do was to capture on b3 with the exchange of queens and white is simply a pawn up and has the total control over the d file. Black is doubling up his rooks on the c file but there is nothing black can do. e5 Knight h5, well at least black should have played knight e8, but in our game we have knight h5 and black will no longer manage to switch his knight into the game. There it goes, we have rook d8 check and after the exchange of rooks on d8, king g7, we have g3, not allowing any possible knight f4 moves, yes, white is keeping black knight on the rim, king h6, meanwhile black wants to somehow activate his knight, but just no way out, you know, after knight g7 we have g4 controlling this essential squares. King g5, a desperate attempt. I don't know what was in black's mind. Now this is even worse. There are some mating threats like h4 check followed by g5 checkmate. Black played h5, but after h4 king h6. Chernyev announced the checkmate by playing rook h8. A beautiful checkmate, right? Well, probably we should cover more games by Chernyev. If you have any good suggestions, leave your comments, please. And in the end, let's also solve a chess puzzle, which is taken from one of Chernyev's online games. It's white to move and win the game. I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Here are more suggestions for you. Feel free to check them out as well. I will see you in my next video. Take care.